Hey everybody, it's Annie Suter from Bay Club. Um, I'm here with another interval strength workout and that is because I'm in the middle of my own personal cardio sandwich in that I did um, a big cardio yesterday and I'm gonna do another big one tomorrow. So I need some strength training. So what we're gonna do today is strength training in upper lower pairs, right, duos. And it's gonna be 40 seconds of lower, 40 seconds of upper, repeat the 40 seconds of lower, may have a side, may not, um, and then repeat the upper body um, segment. So 40 seconds on each move and you'll do each one twice and then we'll leave that pair behind and then we'll go on to the next pair. And I have five pairs prepared, um, so we'll see how long that takes and with a little bit of core work at the end, not a ton. And um, what I'm gonna use today is I, I have two step stools. Did you know I had two? I have two. Um, so I'm gonna use those for deficit, right? So I'm gonna put a foot on each of those so that when I hold my dumbbell or if you're using a backpack or something like that, um, it sinks below the level of the two step stools. So that's what I'm gonna use. Any two things of the same height will do. Even if they're, they're shorter, right? The deficit doesn't have to be huge. It could be a couple of big books or something like that. Um, I'm gonna use my heavy backpack and mat. Um, a, for one of the things or multiple of the things. Um, I have my dumbbells on the floor. I have a band. Um, you can certainly work without a band if you don't have one. And then I'm just gonna use that closet rod over there, that dowel, um, just for the warm up. So you don't, you don't need to have that. You can certainly do it without, or if you have even like a rope or something that you can kind of stretch out for some of the upper body stuff and then hold on to the wall or something for the lower body. Um, what else was I gonna say? I am gonna throw a pillow on the benches um, if we get to that fifth um, duo. So I have a pillow over there and I think that's about it. I did load my backpack very heavy today. I put a 25 pound dumbbell in there and it still has a bunch of shoes and other things. So it is quite heavy. Um, so if you wanna load up yours too, but maybe you might wanna make, wait till we see what you're actually doing for the exercise before you decide um, how far you wanna go. I am not even wearing shoes today. And that is because we are not jumping around. And so I'm gonna do a workout without shoes. See how that goes. I might regret that later. All right, we ready? All right, I'm gonna turn the music on. So what we're gonna do for the warm up is we're gonna use the dowel or whatever you have for a little bit. And then I'm just gonna run through um, a lot of the exercises that we're gonna do with less weight so that I kind of warm up the specific parts we're gonna use. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's grab this to begin. We're gonna do some shoulder dislocators. So you're gonna reach behind and reach back. Just like that. So from the side, it looks like this. Let's do a couple more of these. Take your arms as wide as you can with whatever you have. All right, I'm gonna leave it up this time and I'm gonna come over to the side, come up top. So for warm ups, you want to dynamically stretch, right? There's a good number of uh, research studies that show if you static stretch, that is hold a stretch for a long time, it sometimes can impair your performance in whatever you're doing, especially for people like runners and things like that. But um, it may not necessarily apply to your workout, but what I took from that is you might as well keep a dynamic so that you can keep your strength for your actual workout. All right, I'm gonna go down to this leg and back up, just this one side. One more over here. Let's do the other side. Oh, that looks tight. That's always tight though. Let's do two more over here. I can feel my hamstring, yeah? One more. All right, let's take this off. I'm just gonna use it for stability so you can hold on to something instead. I'm gonna kick the leg back and forth and make sure I don't hit that wall. Oh, then I hit the backpack, here we go. I'm gonna take this same leg and I'm gonna go side to side, right? 
So out to the side. A couple more like this. All right, I'm gonna take this leg, that same leg we were working up and around, up and around. All right, before we get to the other side, we're gonna good morning this a little bit. So stick it on your back, bend over, open up those hammies. Take your head with you. So you're trying to feel that stretch right on the back of the legs. Nice flat back. You can pull down on the whatever you have here. Let's do two more. All right, let's go for that other leg. I'm gonna plant this. I'm gonna go forward and back. So we're going to do a deficit squat. So you want these to be pretty far apart for you. So I'm going to start here and see how that goes for me. One foot on each. Yeah, where did I go? All right, and then you're just going to come down. And when you're holding something today, you're going to hold it like this so that it goes maybe below the level of the bench, especially if you've got a dumbbell and it's vertical, right? Maybe the bottom head will be below. So I'm gonna sink down nice and low here, sitting up as straight as I can. This is actually gonna be in our first pairing, right? A deficit squat. I've got my toes turned out just a little, and the wide leg allows me to get low. So find a good position. You shouldn't feel super stretched. Right, should be comfortable, as comfortable as these can be. Let's do two more. All right, the second thing we're gonna do on this is a deficit deadlift. So again, you probably might have a dumbbell or a backpack or something like that, and the level of it may go below the bench. It may not, right? And in which case you can stand on the floor. But it's just like that good morning, except your load is not on your back. Right, your load is in the front. I've got a little bend in my legs, sticking my booty out like I'm gonna put a little print on this painting back here. All right, a couple more. Okay, so one of the options today is going to be to do a, not really a handstand, you certainly could walk it up to a handstand, but it's like a plank with your feet on the wall. And that is to work your shoulders. So what I wanna do is warm up the upper body a little bit. We have a lot of upper body work that has dumbbells, which I don't really wanna warm up with my dumbbells because they're a little too heavy for a, a, like actual warm up. So in order to just warm up the upper body generally, I'm gonna do some push-ups and I'm gonna do them on these um, step stools. So I'm gonna do a deficit push-up. You can certainly have your knees down. Regular push-ups, no deficit would be fine too. Let's see if I can, can't stick my legs quite out. Okay, all right, got my hands on them and I can't quite see. I'm gonna come down and bring it up. I'm gonna take a pretty slow pace here. Make sure you have a mat down there if you've got your knees down. All right, after a few of those, let's push back down dog. Bring it back up to a plank. Let's do, let's do three more. One more here. Push back down dog. I'm gonna walk my hands back a little bit. Put my heels down. All right, one more time back out into a plank here. All we're gonna do from here is alternate reach out while trying to keep your hips as steady as possible. So just reach straight out. A 
not trying to burn you out on this workout. We're trying to get some good muscle work. Uh, but you should be dead after. Yeah. All right, 20 seconds of rest, and we're gonna go back into it one more time through, and we'll leave this pairing behind. Got 10 seconds. Feel so tall in these. Hey. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Now, this was my only workout for the next couple of days. I would probably go a little heavier, push myself a little harder. But today, I just want to activate my muscles, preserve what muscle I have, especially during these weird times. So I'm not gonna go crazy. About 10 seconds left. I'm gonna do one more. There we go. All right, come down for a sec. Upright rows are next. I'm like scared that I'm gonna put them on my bare feet. I know. I don't work out on bare feet. Whew. But we might as well while we can, right? Don't have to put on jeans and no shoes, right? right? I like that single, single, double from last time. Uh, bring in that core as you do this. Squeeze it tight. Uh. Probably should be getting close now, right? Yeah. There it is. All right. That was our first pair. What did you think? <laughs> All right. Our second pair, we're going to use the stools again just so we can kind of get rid of them for now. And we're going to do that um, deficit deadlift. So for that, I think... Let's see if I can use the same thing. So we're gonna come up, and then instead of squat, right, you're gonna lean forward, bring it up and do that same glute squeeze. So it almost looks similar, but not quite. So if you were trying to choose with what weight to use, um, there might be a chance you need to go a little lighter. It just sort of depends on what you use for the first one. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna follow that with a tricep push-up. That means your elbows are tucked in instead of the normal 45 degree angle push-up. So, without moving my benches, maybe I'll, maybe I'll go over there. Let me move this. Now this is very heavy because I have this 25 pounder. Plus a lot of shoes, like a pair of boots and three pairs of Converse maybe. All right, let's see. Uh, maybe I'll come out like, like this. I think you really can't see me. I've got the, got the camera like at a really weird angle today, I know. Okay, so those are our two moves. Triceps, right, and then the deficit deadlift. Okay, we ready? All right, I'm gonna need to push the timer so you get up on your, your whatever you've got. Okay, are you ready? Up you go. So same foot position. This time you're gonna lean over and give me that same glute squeeze at the top. This time you should feel this in the hamstrings just like when we were doing those good mornings in the warm up. Uh. Breathe it out, come up and squeeze your glutes for me. Uh. Twenty seconds to get down. Do my tricep push-ups. Forty seconds worth. I think I'm going to be on my knees. You can certainly start out not on your knees, and then end up on your knees if that's what you need to do. Remember to tuck your elbows in. All right, let's go. Take a nice, easy pace here. 
You don't have to jam these out because we're here for a long time. I want you to do your best to get your face down toward the ground, your chest down, very close to the ground. I've got my fingers spread out and I'm pushing through my whole palm, even that first kind of knuckle right under my pointer finger. time through. Deficit deadlift. Brittany. All right. Four. Time to get up. There right. we go. Ooh, yeah. I'm a little sweaty. I don't know about you. I'm filming this on a a hot day, but it's still the morning. But it was hot yesterday, which means it just kind of residually stayed hot. Focus on those hammies here. Pull your shoulders back. Last 10 seconds. One more time, tricep push-ups. Ah. I'll get some water or something here. And the water's here. Okay, five. Ready? Let's go. yourself all the way down. Change your knee position. If this is getting hard, come up to a tabletop. Do the same thing. Halfway in. going to be some kneeling hip thrusts. So I'm going to kneel, I'm going to have the backpack on, and I'm going to sit down and then come up and thrust from a seated position. If that is uncomfortable to you, go ahead and do it just like we did it in the warm-up, right? Either with a heel elevated glute bridge or just a glute bridge with your heels on the floor, right? So you don't have to kneel, especially if your knees don't like that. So let me clear these out of the way for now. Okay, so I'm going to bring my mat out and I'm going to, you know, kind of fold it up so I have some extra cushion here. Okay. So I'm going to put this backpack on and when I do, right, I'm going to come down like this. I'm going to come up and squeeze really hard. And this is for the glutes, right? So you're going to sit down and squeeze. But the sit doesn't really do that much on its own. It'll give you a little quad work. So coming all the way down is probably not necessary, right? You can feel it out for your body, but like halfway is probably enough because you want the big squeeze at the top. We are gonna partner that with a hammer curl with the bicep. And hammer just means the dumbbell is vertical, right? So you can be here, we can employ the single, single, double just like we did last time. All right, let me put this on. It got really heavy. <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't know how much this weighs, but. So, I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna come up. Now, if you wanna hold an additional weight here, let's say your backpack just isn't that heavy, you can hold it up on top. I'm gonna hold my backpack straps. All right, 40 seconds, give me really hard squeezes. Here we go. So I've got my knees. I don't know, reason of like hip width, not even hip width apart, a little more navel maybe. So this is a move where you have to do the work, right? You have to do the squeeze. Because you could do this all day probably, just bend right here. But get down and then squeeze it forward. Squeeze it there. 
Feel it underneath your glute. Bicep curl, hammer position. I didn't keep this backpack on just for kicks. And if you did not feel that at all, lay yourself down, right? And then pump your hips up and down, just like the glute bridge that we did in the warm up. Okay, single, single, double for me. We did triceps, so you knew biceps were coming. We're in our last 10 seconds of this. your quads your quads feel it yet I guess it depends on how your whatever your load is <clears throat> Single, single, double for me for what dumbbells I'm using. Both at the same time would be fine. A complete single would be fine too. Ooh, six. Shoulders are starting to feel that backpack too. Yeah. Oh, curls are getting harder. Halfway, a little more than halfway through. Oh, see how slow I'm going. Whoo. Okay. All right, let's get this off. lateral um, band walks, right? So I'm going to walk side to side with a band around. Now, if you don't have the band, still do the exercise, right? I want you to really think about holding a dumbbell and stepping like this and using the squat to create the tension, right? So kind of really hold that squat position, squeeze everything really hard, and it'll kind of give you that same sensation of a band, but I'm kind of hoping maybe you have access to a band at some time during this quarantine. I do feel like they're great tools and they're so portable. All right, so I'm gonna wear this one, whatever one you have. If you have the plastic ones, you can always throw on two, right? Two in the same place is fine. You can also do one here and one lower. And if you do that, do the lighter one lower and the harder one on top. So take a sip of water. Okay, for the second one between this, this is where we're going to get the handstand or the, the plank against the wall. So let me move this out of the way. Let me first of all say that if this doesn't look appealing to you, I totally understand. And replace it with a regular plank with that reach out that we did in the warm up, which is why we did that. So have your mat out, right? And do a forearm plank and reach out for those 40 seconds. If you wanna join me over here, I'm gonna put 
my legs up on the wall, right? And I'm gonna hold this. Now, the further you walk up the wall, like the closer your hands go, let's say to the, the base of the wall, the more pressure is gonna be on your shoulders. So it's only 40 seconds though, so I wouldn't spend a ton of time trying to get yourself up parallel here because all I really want is some pressure on your shoulders by having your feet, right, elevated. You could certainly accomplish the same thing by elevating your feet on the step stool. But what I like about this is because there's no place for your foot to really push off of, it's gonna make your core work a little harder, which is why we're just using the plain wall on this. Oh, do you know what I just did? I turned on my timer with my toe by accident. Okay, yes, I'm sure. All right, so we're gonna do that. I don't know exactly what mine are gonna look like, how fast I can kind of walk myself up, because I do want as much pressure on my shoulders as I can take this morning. And I will probably take off my band to do it, just so I have more access to leg movement. And um, you can decide what you wanna do, depending on what variety. If you're just doing the plank, there's no reason to take the band off. All right, so lateral walks. I'm gonna step really far. I'm gonna put my full foot down. I'm gonna use the space that I have. Following, I'm gonna drop the band, and then I'm gonna go do the wall stuff. All right, we ready? Let's go. I'm gonna start with the locks. Here we go. Big steps, and I'm gonna stay nice and low. And certainly you can hold a dumbbell here to make it more challenging, or whatever you've got. If you've got the backpack, maybe you're wearing that in a front carry here especially if you don't have a band, right? Big steps. Okay. Oh, I feel that. Ha! Huh. Could it be the other stuff we've done? Got about eight seconds. All right, I'm gonna take this off really quick. Get myself ready. I'm not gonna get up until we have about, I don't know, seven seconds left or so, which is about now. All right, so hands down, feet up, do your regular plank if you want. All right, I'm just gonna hold it just like this. That'll give me a little space to get down relatively fast. Push through the floor if you're up here. to go that high obviously right you could have it in a more plank position I feel it all around the backs of my shoulders and around the top which is what I wanted to feel so hopefully you do too doesn't matter what option you use right that was the goal of that okay oops I needed to start again let me go back all right let's do this again you get a little more than 20 seconds here all right let's go second round this down a little right above my knees to get that maximum band action put your full foot down stay in your little mini squat it's like a quarter squat you like maybe not even like whatever option you're gonna do seven here it comes let's get ourselves ready face to the wall that is a lot harder for me 
than doing it when I kick up. 15 seconds. more of these to do. Um, we're going to do a little reverse frog um, extension. And so for that, here's what I'm going to use just because this is where I'm filming. I'm going to make myself what is essentially a little couch, right? Or bed, right? So if you have a couch or a bed or a, you know, a cushy chair around, you certainly don't need to use this type of setup here. But lay your upper body, lie your upper body, right, on the bed, and then hang your legs off the end, right? And so that'll probably be an easier way to do this. But here's what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna make this into a chair or a bed or whatever, just so I don't have to move around. So for that, I'm gonna come down, and I'm gonna hang on to this, right? And I'm gonna lift, right? And I'm gonna lift. Now my Step stools are not very sturdy, so I notice that my top one pulls up, but because I'm down on it with my weight, it won't actually flip over, so don't worry about it. But figure out what you can use, something like that, that you've got your hips kind of at the edge, and then your feet are off, and you're gonna lift, right? And we're gonna pair that with, what am I gonna pair that with? Overhead press, I thought so, right? You know I like to do my shoulders. So I'm gonna do an overhead press here, um, you can do it in that hammer style that we did before. I think I'm going to go wide today, and maybe I'll try that single, single, double action again. All right, so I've got my dumbbells here, and just so you can see me, because the camera angle is interesting today, I am going to kneel while I do that, so I'm bringing my mat out. Okay. So lift as many times as you can. You're going to flex your feet, lift up through the edge, and then come down and overhead press. It's our last little duo. We'll do a little core work after this, and you be done. All right. You get yourself set up. All right, here we go. I'm going to hang on to this. Up. So I'm trying to get a squeeze here that's more on the top of the glutes, because everything else we've done has been for the other areas, right? We've hit the low. We've hit it kind of wide. We just did the lateral band walks for the side. So now I'm trying to get these upper glutes right on the top of it, which are hard to get to. Easy squeezy. All right, 20 seconds to transition. I'm going single, single, double. All these, I don't know, all these 20s are sitting here. You think I can do them? What about for? I don't know if got after those handstands and her 40 seconds, but my 20s are looking me in the face. They're like, we're right here, pick me up. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> it's like one of those things where you can do it, but is it a good idea? Too, is all about the squeeze that you're creating by lifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. 
10 seconds to go. Start with the other arm since I used that other one last time. Sweat running down my back. Under 10 seconds. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Done, done, done. All right. Let's clear everything. Put this back. Okay. I'm going to get these out of the way. going to be supine, so on your back, right? It's to address mostly the lower abs, and then we're going to come in with a circle crunch, and then I'll decide whether we're going to throw in a finisher or not. Let me get a sip of water. Okay, so on this one, you're going to be down here, and I want you to stick your hands sort of underneath your glutes for a little support, right? So adjust your back. So you're gonna start with your feet down. You're gonna bring them in with the knees bent, extend, and then lower down, right? So sometimes we do just a regular leg drop, such as this, and we'll get there. But I wanna start with this modification so that we can warm it up and really get ready to do some harder ones with good form. All right, so put those legs down. All right, no timer on this. So we're just gonna bring it in. I want you to feel your core bringing it in. Extend it up and then lower it down with some control. So what this is going to do is hopefully not fatigue you as much so that your back feels it, right? Because I really want your lower abs to feel it. So taking some of the lever off and also having your hands under for support. Really think about squeezing the abs and feeling every part of this move. Let's do two more. Here's one, and here's two. Okay. Next one I want you to do is put your feet flat on the ground, and we're gonna come up, we're gonna cross your hands if you can, and you're gonna roll at least your shoulders off the ground in one direction. Now, if you can pick up your back, that's great. That'll kind of get more ab focus here, but just the shoulder is fine. Also, if that is uncomfortable on your neck, right, you can always do that same circular motion with some neck support. All right, here we go. Up and around, and we will do both sides, so don't worry. Long leg in, 
to the knee up and then a long leg lower. All right, tuck those hands under. Open up your chest, here we go. Feel a nice tight squeeze on my lower abs right through that movement. All right, now if you're ready, let's go down and just do a drop and back up. And hopefully you're primed and ready to go for this. Sometimes when you do this move cold, your back ends up paying for it. But we've primed you pretty good. Let's do a couple more like this. We're gonna circle the other direction with that crunch, up and around. Remember all your options, especially if your neck is feeling this. Four more. One more for me. Okay. Feel another little stretch for me. All right. Ah, my whole abdominal section is very warm, which is great. Okay. So I think we should do just a little bit of stuff for your. Um, the back side of your core, right on the back. So let's roll over. And I think we'll just do some Superman lifts and then we'll call it a day. Sound good? All right. So hands up top. You're gonna look down at your mat. You're gonna lift your legs and lift your arms and I'm gonna count for you. We'll do it a few times. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, lift, hold. Eight more here, lift a little higher. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, come on down, hold it for eight, go eight, seven, six, five, four, you ready? Three, two, let's lift, let's go. Go eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one more time rest. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna lift it one more time. Two, we're gonna swim this time. Up you go. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, all right, let's push. Actually, let's stay here and do our quads. We're already down. Oh. Push that quad into the mat. I'm gonna bring my foot out to the side. Bring it the other way. A little massage for it there on the mat. All right, let's do the other side. your chest down. I'm going to bring one arm center and lift to the side. Same thing over here. All right, up on all fours. We're going to rock back and forth a little. 
And we did this move in group power one release, and I really thought it felt good. So I'm gonna take one arm away, and that same side leg, I'm gonna take that further away, and we're gonna lean forward and lean back. And I felt like that was a really good release for my lower back. I don't know if you can feel it or not, but I certainly do. All right, let's switch the sides. So bring this side in, bring this side out. Rock. Uh, it's like right down here, I feel it. It's like a re relief, right, of pressure there. All right, let's sit. I'm gonna do a figure four this way. Push into it, open my knee. A little tricep stretch. Other side. I'm gonna take it long. Look up. Other side, same thing. All right, up in my feet. Two deep breaths coming. One more time. All right, high five, strength done. <laughs> See you soon.